Leah and I are out at the, well, Round Top, but we stopped at a place that's outside of Round Top by about 10 miles in Warrington. I've always wanted to stop here, but just blew by it. Super good prices, some of these things. Let me rotate. So, uh, you know, those little stone things, 40 bucks, decorative, super cool. Let me keep going on. We'll find a bunch of stuff. Just uh, all kinds of sculpture here. I'll show you the $10 table. We've already bought some things from it. We're shopping off the closeout tables. We've already bought some interesting things. But I got a, a whale already, whale right uh, wheel, which is super cool for 10 bucks. Look at that, some agates for $10. Super good deal on that. Oh, I've been needing decorative wood panels. I'm gonna buy a bunch of those. I'm not cold yet, but it is a little chilly. Hopefully we'll be... Remember we went, we're looking all over for decorative carved wood? This is what I'm going to use above the plaster that didn't quite fit in the construction project. Ten bucks a piece for these hand-carved panels, and I, I feel not bad cutting them up because they're already cracked. So above the oh, windows... Those are Leah needed a little basket to keep her stuff. We found these for ten bucks. That's pretty good for a hand-woven basket. Look at the carved dolphins. Those are $10. How fun. Look at these old coins we found. $3 each or five. You'd have to know whether or not they're silver or not. There you go. I know. You're going to carry that in your purse? Is that what you're going to do? That's a good price on that. You've got a little bracelet for six bucks. And then this one's twelve. I got yeah, six isn't that great? Anytime you could make your woman happy for six dollars, <laughs> take that deal. <laughs> Look at these here. These are cool. Thirty-six. They've got to be old cattle bells. Oh wow! So when I come back, I could do these on the outside. You know, the one door needs the handles to pull it close. And there's four, six, and eight, so they're all different. Yeah, but I don't see them stacked on a table anymore, so this looks like an old display. We can look around for something like that. You know what I mean? The yeah, outside yeah. doors to pull yeah. them in. I like the $4 one, but these make more sense. Maybe they have them someplace else. Listen, that's these. a good price for that. that. We'll ask the gal who's helping us yeah. if she can find those. Look at y'all, these weird things. I don't know what I'd do with them, but they are weird. Trees set. Uh, I don't know what these are. They're trees that were pulled out of the ground and cleaned up. Interesting. I don't care who you are. I love old trunks. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, you can't lift it. It's too heavy, you can't lift it? Come on, sissy girl. Ooh, look oh, them. yeah, sissy. Well, no, it is heavy. That's, this thing is heavy. Are you putting your fingers right on the edge? No. Nope. How fun that is. is. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Exquisite. Leah wants katanas for self defense. Or a gun. <laughs> or a gun. <laughs> or a gun. I, I ruined my daddy's bayonet when I was a kid, and there's another bayonet I could make up for him. This was genuine World War II stuff. So the owner took us. To to her right to her her, her secret mm -hmm. supplies because I said I'm building a house so now she brought me here so you said no matter what size door uh, what technique seven hundred dollars I like this so one I'm building a, a big bow on the between the great hall so if I build them out of these I only need post and uh, to support the ceiling and then these would be in between this table is only three hundred the wood alone is yeah. No, it was these. I, no, I, I don't know. Oh, these tops have a different price on them. But if that top would go with that table for well, 600 bucks. Like oh, she is right, no matter what size. So, okay, imagine my great hall and then these kind of doors around it. And they wouldn't have to match. Mm -hmm. So, But I, I want to be able to pull my truck in. So... Um, I don't know that I kind of got to build it before I, or at least frame it in with the oak tim, um, cedar timbers. But this one over here with the painted panel is just too much fun. 
Uh -huh. This kind of looks good. It could pass for Spanish. He's got a little Spanish vibe about him. No, they look almost Spanish. What do you mean? Look at his pants. He looks like he's from 14, 1500. It's pretty. It's, he's got very... carnations. That, that's, the, that's the flower of Spain. Okay. You said French. Oh, I said instead of uh, Spain, Spanish? You said French. Oh, uh, I did say French, mm -hmm. didn't I? Yeah. I got excited. So there's all kinds of interesting patterns painted on these. So out of all of them, that's the one that I'm interested like in most. Here's a fun little door we just noticed. It's got a pan flute built into the design on the bottom. That is uh, so cool. The rain has caught up to us, Leah. Mm -hmm. Sounds, I like what did I one. say? I said two hours of rain. I'll, we'll see now. Look at this hey, you touched that. Is it iron? Is that moon iron? Yeah. That's, so that's an iron grate in there. And there's another door just like it behind it, isn't there? Yes, there's two of them. Uh -huh. Let's see that and one. there's flowers in this inlay. Do you see it? I do see it, but I... close up, they're just flowers. Just flowers. It's strange. But anyway, nonetheless, these would be much faster for me to build that wall. And probably if I came in and I said, hey, I needed four or five, whatever it would take mm -hmm. to do the thing, I bet you they'd give me them 500 apiece. Maybe... Forty-six and a half wide. This is a six foot there. Six foot plus twenty is a little shorter than eight foot. Okay. It's uh, just a smidgen short of eight foot, but that's even better for me. So very interesting. I do like the, the way that looks with the artwork. It deserves to be saved. It's actually not holding up real well in the moisture. It needs to be preserved and restripped and all that. Uh, time isn't being that kind to it. But they, I, you know, I kind of like mixed matched, but we'd have to think about that too, right? You know, so. But I'd replace the glass in the thing. If I had another set of that, that would be wide enough to pull a truck in, barely. Yeah. Barely. Maybe I'd have to put side panels in it, so. Thank you, love. I think I did good. You did good? All right. Hey, everybody. It's Steve and Leah. So, I didn't bring my uh, trailer, and I should have brought my trailer. In fact, I told myself specifically I won't need a trailer, but let me rotate. Uh, it is 50% uh, off here at Round Top because it's the first day. And we ran into, look at these doors, 100-year-old doors, all, we think, oak. This is They're from Oaxaca, Mexico. Um, three inches thick, solid oak, blacksmithy stuff on it. But um, I, I would be ashamed to tell you, I think I paid 450 for that, right? 450 and uh, just uh, exquisite. And the gentleman here, Eduardo's, his name was so fun to visit with. I bought this, too, for a couple of hundred bucks and uh, this door. So I'm gonna put these in my Spanish mission style house. Uh, it's, you know, just a showpiece for a house such as that. I am so excited to add this on. So, and how much, oh, I've got one last thing here, don't I? Stairs. What did I buy? Oh, I bought another oak door over there. This one's incredible. So we're gonna do the reciprocal ceiling between the great hall of the shipping containers. These uh, will be used for indoor outdoor walls. And that way I can remove them. And if I need to bring a truck inside the house, uh, like if I travel, I could pull these off. And I'm not sure I'll put those on glides. I might put them on hidden doors and put two posts in, and then I could slide these exactly, in, yeah. right, as one lung unit. Anyway, uh, I don't know the design, but I know what I'm going to use. And then the last thing is, we I didn't buy these, solid oak. Uh, they're every bit of 200 pounds a piece. She said $100 each on those. Uh, listen, I can't go to Lowe's and buy junk. Look at this. I can't buy junk for $100. And uh, there we go. You know you can't get uh, solid oak. Yeah. Seven foot. Oh, look at Leah. It has the wheels on it already. Oh, there you 
go. They were used oh that way. Gosh. Do they all have the wheels on them? Okay, that one does. Wow. I don't know. You'd have Let to me rotate. The Looky top. there. You could see that that one does. Let me. Uh, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. But somebody had my exact same idea and used mm -hmm. them that way. This one even has bearings, so it was real high quality. You know what somebody did, and this is clever. They went and bought bearings from like a rotor for which are super cheap at a hardware store for yeah. running engines, and they converted that into their glides, That's which cool. is super smart, way the less expensive. And you know they no, it's nylon. Everybody's building nylon. That's no, the right way. But I mean, do the, do the other ones? Well, I don't know. I oh. didn't flip them all. If these aren't sold tomorrow when I show up, I think I sh I'll buy them. Yeah, they're just really something. Really something. Could not be pl more pleased. I mean, the other place down the road, there were 700, uh, but yeah, I got way, way, way bigger of a better deal here. Well, I don't know if I need this many doors. All right, so they, uh, these do have the little hobbit doors in. This has a two-piece door, but we looked at it and it's just uh, temporary blocking in there. And look, the uh, the hinges are still there. The back is stripped still. But I love the purple. That's one thing I love about the Mexican uh, culture is their bravery with color. So when I was in Toluca, I went to a uh, municipal or a village in the mountains. And it was hours away, so I'm not sure. And when I pulled up over the top of the mountain, every one of their Pueblo houses was painted a shade of purple and this little thing in the mountains I mean, it was beautiful it was the most stunning thing i've never seen a city more beautiful than it in my life now i wouldn't remember because it was mountain trail to get to it and uh, the school school was the biggest building there and it looked like one of the greek isle kind of yes i know uh, exactly what you're talking about yeah and uh man it stood i'm not quite church i still knew it wasn't but it still had that vibe and uh, 300 kids went to school there, and I thought they were the luckiest 300 kids I've ever seen. So this one I could put back in. So I'm six foot, and that's just a little short for me. Let me, let me like, take. it would break, just cover. So you know these are old, and they're, they're from Mexico. So, I mean, I, I will, I'll have to duck my head if, oh, I, yeah. if I say this. But I honestly think I might make them a glide doors that glide open. Uh, and I step out. I'm not sure. Now that one that has the door still functional, I'm going to restore that, right? So this one is showing just like it is because these two doors in, in open independent and then this door goes in between. So yes. when you open it up, you would open this door and then this piece would open together with that door. In. That is correct. So, um, and I'm going to try to keep it just like that. Man, and that's pretty nice. tall compared to you as well. This one. Mm-hmm. I'm going to just, like, every time I go through, I'll have to do It's do my that. size. It's your size. It is your size. But uh, it's worth it. Well, I could open the big door if I want to. Yeah, like, that's true. You know, we'll find out. And this is. And this thing's every hmm. bit of, uh, well, I don't know. These look like 12-inch runs, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's 12 foot tall. And my shipping containers are nine foot tall with two oh, inches. So there 13. you go. It'll be perfect. So once I put a rail up there, I'll be able to go on top and work, which will save me a lot of time having to build my own. And it is solid. Man, that thing, these are hundreds of pounds. I'm going to need a man to help. And I don't know. I'm still going to debate on those. When we get home, I'll kick it around a little bit. Really something. Thank you, my love. All right, well, we came down in the rain, and uh, uh, we're not disappointed. We're hiding out here while it rains. I almost think two hours of rain, but we'll see. So already round top is loads of fun. This place is only open twice a year as well. So, but I'm near enough. It's a, uh, you know, 60 mile drive that, uh, you know, it's no big deal to come here. A little less than that, maybe closer to 40 mile drive. So this is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Thank you for watching. Uh, join me again. Like, subscribe. Bye.